Look at the size of that. And I need you, or I'd like you, to help me choose the parts I fill it with. So yes, as the introduction said, I would like you to help me decide what parts go inside this mysterious case. And I say mysterious, and I do need to kind of be a little bit open about it. It's technically still under NDA. So I'm not allowed to mention the name it will get launched with or the code name that some of you may know already. So there's not many things I can kind of like play around with the name for what it's actually going to get launched as. But some of you may get the uh, kind of hint if I say that I'm going to call this to avoid NDA Project Roof Tile. Anyway, so yes, uh, weird one. Yeah, I know it is just the way it is. But anyway, so I have a what could be known as Project Roof Tile here. And I have the opportunity that you guys can help me decide what hardware to put in it. Because there's two very se separate camps that we could go with. And that's AMD or Intel. So when we say AMD or Intel, it's going to be a dual system rig as well. It's going to have a little ITX board in the bottom and then a big daddy one in the top. So we could have something like the um, Zenith Extreme in the top. We don't have an X470 ITX board yet, but I live in hope that by the time I actually need it, I might be able to get one, or I might be able to hurry Asus along with one. So we could put the uh, Threadripper 1950X in the top, and then put maybe like the 2400G in an APU board, uh, sorry, in an ITX board in the bottom. The idea being that you can have like a, just a surfing system in the bottom and then a massive gaming rig in the top, or something that I might kind of play around with would be a massive system in the top and then something to a completely separate system to do your streaming with in the bottom. So there's a few options that we've got there. Um, uh, with an OCD head on though, I'd want to make it AMD graphics as well, which would mean that we'd have to go with the RX 64 in the top. I don't know how you guys would feel about mixing and matching kind of and putting an Nvidia one in there. I'm, you know, I, I would, in my head, it would be all AMD, or then we could go with the Rampage 6 Extreme in the top, which I would put 7900 XE in there as well. Then we'd go with at least one 1080 Ti. I'm kind of aiming, heading towards the single graphics card thing. Um, I know some games are getting better with two, but Anyway, and then uh, we could put an ITX Strix board in the bottom. This is just a Z371. Uh, so we could pop that in the bottom. I don't know whether I would go with uh, like an 8700K because it does have onboard graphics and kind of go for the bonkers side of things or whether I'd stay a little bit more sensible and maybe go with an i3 and then overclock it. I, I don't really know yet, but those are all things that we can discuss. Now you're wondering how we decide. If you've already posted underneath, the way we are going to decide is on the OC3D forums. And the f I'm gonna set a thread up for it. And then the first thing that we are going to decide is um, uh, Nvidia, Intel, or AMD. That's going to be the poll, and I will base the parts on the poll that's on the forum. So I'm gonna ignore the comments underneath. We can discuss it here, but they are not gonna play a part in my decision. If you want to come and vote, you're gonna to have to come on to the OC3D forums. Once we've made a decision, which I will make that decision when the NDA lifts, which I'm not even sure that I'm meant to say when the NDA lifts, it's that kind of much of a, 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 a something at the moment. Um, that we'll make the decision then, and then we'll start dry fitting hardware, having a look, seeing what kind of changes that we can do, working out where we're gonna put all the fan cables, that sort of thing. And then we'll start arguing about like processor specs, graphics card specs. Um, I'm also, I've got an awful, awful lot of uh, water cooling here already that Aqua Tuning have already sent in. And when I say an awful lot, I mean an awful lot, because this was actually meant to have got launched quite a long time ago. There's been an awfully long delay. So I've had kit kind of sat around, but that may work in our favor in that I might be able to use their new GPU water blocks. I need to kind of get on to Dave and uh, see what the state of play is with that. 
But yes, it's a strange kind of video and I really am kind of skirting right on the limits of what I'm allowed and not allowed to say. So I know I'm, there was things about this that I wasn't allowed to show you specifically. I'm not allowed to open the door. I had to put it on a certain angle. I wasn't allowed to show the name on the box, hence the project roof tile, <laughs> wink, wink. Yeah. Ah, uh, God, there's so many things that I want to play around with the numbers. And I'm like, no, because they won't let me put the video up. In fact, they still might tell me to take it down once it's gone up anyway. Anyway, so please, OC3D forums, I'll put the link underneath. Click the link, come and vote. If you're not a member, then join up, come in and join the discussion. Uh, and essentially, this is going to be kind of like you remotely choosing and helping me spec this build and we will keep asking questions each time and putting um uh like polls and stuff up on the forum so you guys at home get to choose how this rig ends up looking and that could even be me uh mean you even deciding things like water cooling uh coolant color and stuff as well so it could get kind of interesting when you get to see it at the end and know that you kind of helped shape it so let me know what you think, but the most important thing is head over to the OC3D forums and let me know whether you think all AMD or Intel and NVIDIA hardware to go in project roof tile.